this video today we're gonna do an installation of vCenter operation manager standard edition all right you will have to download this binary all right from um, VMware um, and all the applications uh, in VMware actually has a 60-day trial so I have actually downloaded it and we'll be going through um, the installation in this video all right the file is about 600 uh, to 700 Mac all right it's a V app so you have to import this in via the V spear client okay here I have my V center I'm just gonna go through this uh, import click on file deploy OVF template and browse to the file current version is 1.0.1 Alright, click next and you get a summary of what you're importing. And we have to accept the end user agreement before we can click next. Here I'm gonna leave it as a default name. Choose your data center. Alright, I already imported it in to save time. So in such, I'm just gonna not click the finish button. So we're gonna click next, choose the cluster. Here I'm gonna choose team provision as um, this is going to occupy 800 gig of space and I do not want to um, let it allocate advanced and let's click next and you get a summary uh, I'll power on after deployment and I'll click finished alright and I have already imported this in and uh, it has already been powered up okay we'll be going through the setup kid name will be root and the password will be VMware if you need to access the console here we do not need to so I'm just going to show you how to configure the network I'm not going to use IP6 so I'm going to sleep as default um, I do not have a DHCP so I'm going to put no and specify the IP address all right and the network mask And then the gateway. And your DNS server. I don't have a secondary one, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. And the host name. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at VC Ops. Alright, and the whole FQDN there. I'm just going to choose no, everything is default and this is correct. Okay, and we are done. So we could choose change the time zone as well. So I'm in Singapore, so this is correct. Alright, and we are done configuring. After doing so, remember to key in your DNS entry into your DNS server as well. Um, I'm not doing that, so I'll be accessing it through the IP address rather. Okay, so let's key in the IP address of the server. And here we are. All right. Here the login will be admin. Admin. And you will be presented with this. So you need to key in the username. So um, I'm just gonna leave it as the same. Um, key in admin and my password. All right. And it has been changed. And the first thing it will prompt you is for the vCenter credential, which you will have to key this in. Okay, uh, so my this vCenter is this. Um, let's just key in all the information required.
Alright, for the collection username, you could actually use the same as the vCenter or you could actually create a separate service account in order for um, this user all right, to collect the information required. Um, do note that this account that you're going to use must have access to all the vCenter objects but um, or limited credential for a subset of the infantry. All right. Um, you can refer this to the vCenter operation manager standard uh, installation and administration guide. Okay, we're just gonna do a test here. All right, and we're gonna click save. You get um, this security warning. We're just gonna click ignore. Right, and click OK. Alright, now we have to update this with a license. So um, I'm going to minimize this. We'll have to um, open the vSphere client, and here we already have it under solution and applications. This is something new in vSphere 5. All right, for all the V apps that have such um, integration with the V Center, you will actually find them here. So here, I've gone in. Uh, let's just add this. All right, so we have to assign a license. If you do not assign, you will get this. And so just go into the licensing. All right, you have to choose assets, and you'll be able to see the V Center Operation Manager. Right click on it, click Change License. Here I'm going to assign a license to it. I'm going to just click OK and OK. So my license is now added. All right, and we'll click Home. And this time we're going to reload this page and it should just load correctly. Alright, once this is completed, you are able to access all your matrix. Alright, and um, we'll have all the functions available. Okay, so far everything green and it means it's good. Alright, and this marks the end for the installations of vCenter Operation Manager Standard Edition. Thank you for viewing.